Now let's try to solve this question. This is another second question from the type of cricket. I mean, average in cricket. Sachin Tendulkar batted with an average of 48 in 12 innings. What does it mean? He batted. So he batted in 12 innings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So n equal to 12 and average is equal to 48. So this is uh, his performance in, in 12 innings. With what average should he bat in the next 8 innings? Now the question comes here. What, with what average should he bat in his next 8 innings? I am drawing it this way. Ooh, let's use another colored pen and here. With what average should he score in his 8 innings? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Here n is 8 and average is asked in the question with what average should he bat in his next in inning so that his average will increase by 2 runs so that his average his average means net average net average means all his 20 matches performance his net average it means n equal to 20 here after playing 8, eight matches here his total number of matches played is 20 and his average will increase by 2 runs. It means his average was 48 and it will increase by 2 runs. That means 48 plus 2, this is equal to 50. So this is how the mathematics is presented to you. One information was given like he batted for 12 innings with an average of 48. Then the next, question, next information is asked in the question like he will come, for, come to bat in the 8 innings. With what average should he bat so that his net average will increase by 2 runs, that means it will become 50. Exactly the same way, just remember that in the last question where the batsman was Kohli, I, it was, uh, in the question was asking what, with what, what score he will, uh, he will hit in one inning so that his average will increase. But exactly the same one. So as I told you, n and average is given. It is it is indirectly as yes, indirectly a hint to multiply and to find the value of the sum. So in this case, the sum of these 12 innings of Sachin Tendulkar is 12 into 48. This is the score in 12 matches. Plus next eight matches, eight into x, because I do not know the average, so I put this value as x. So plus 8x and this is equal to 20 into 50. 20 into 50. Why? Because total number of matches is 20 now and his average will increase by 2 runs. That means it is 50. Now we will have to calculate it and we will have to find the value of x. So this is how this question is solved. And questions can be of different formats as well. In this cricket, you just have to understand how this average works in cricket. In that case, you can solve this question very easily. See you in the next video to solve one more question from average in cricket. See you soon.